I aspire to be an alright dude. And that should be your first piece of evidence that I'm not. I have this uncanny ability to try and do something really good with the best intentions and end up ruining everything. I get myself into these situations often and I call them high risk, no reward situations. There's a lot on the line for literally zero payoff. For example, I hosted a huge YouTuber party in California full of friends, peers, and people that I idolize in a place that isn't necessarily legal for just talking like real definition. Only not to remember uh, anything about it. High risk, no reward. And to make matters worse, we got hit with said illegalities and it might have been uh, my fault. It was definitely my fault, it was 100% my fault. So how did I end up in this situation? What happened at the party to get me in this spot? Who is Vibby? What the heck are you doing? What? What's with the drag? I'm trying to do the dramatic like hook thing here. This video is about day zero, right? Mm, yeah. Then you're gonna need this. A body. Close, but no. I don't like that that was close. Look, you said why you'll need it just a second ago. Trust me, you need it. I don't trust you at all, especially with human-sized bags. Well, we'll see if you change your tune about my human-sized bag in about nine minutes or so. That sound right, you know. Anyways, so y'all might have heard of this little thing called VidCon. <coughs> Just maybe. It's this big event where creators come together to meet fans, learn, and realize how bad we are at uh, both these things. But see, let me tell you a deep secret about VidCon. Like, VidCon sucks. No one really goes to VidCon for the convention. Look, if I wanted to pay money for someone to tell me pointless information I could have Googled, I'd just go to college. <laughs> and going into my sophomore VidCon, I was kinda a getting that vibe. But just like college, I was still willing to pay money to come back anyway. And I know that sounds stupid, I agree. So why? One, friendship. You know, hanging out with friends I haven't seen or connected with and meeting fans who feel inspired by the content you create. It's a really great feeling, honestly. Oh, and two, uh, psychoactive substance abuse. Well, that's a lot in mind. <laughs> This really is like college. Save the time, me and my dude Frugal Aesthetic, two members of the group we like to call Mixed Drinks, I'm not an actual alcohol, decided to throw a big get together the day before VidCon even started. Something that is now infamously known as Day Zero. Now I was excited, but a little concerned because to make this party work, we need to fix some problems that we had last year. So we set some essential rules to make sure this night we wouldn't at best, uh, become homeless, and at worst, go to jail. One, animator repression is real. Limit the numbers and give animators alcohol with caution. All right, so flashback to 2018. We had just hosted a successful party uh, the previous night. Shirts might have come off, mine specifically, but it was a solid time, and we were ready to double dip. You know, playing a similar party, a bit more alcohol, a bit more people, we could handle it. We could not handle it. All I'm gonna say is, by the end of the night, uh, people were passed out, uh, two people were crying. Someone was trying to jump over a fence. It looked like that scene in Community where everything is just chaos, and then Donna Glover walks in. That was Michael J walking into that party the first time. Look, I love y'all to death, uh, but taking care of drunk animators is like taking care of like gremlins, but taller, and with slightly better skin. They act insanely wild and unpredictable, so have fun, but keep moderation in mind, both with the alcohol and the people coming. Uh, two, don't let people outside cage everyone like animals. That is the best way we're gonna make out of this alive. Jump back again to 2018. So night two, we decided to dial everything back like 38 notches. Less people, less alcohol. We were Icarus flying too high, but now we're good. We're gliding down around a nice mid-level height here and then a giant gust of wind just took us straight into the sun. That sun being the police, and that gust of wind being Disney classical music numbers. <laughs> For some reason that night, we all decided to go outside. We started singing Make a Man Out of You from the hit Disney classic Mulan at the top of our lugs at 3 a.m. So the cops came and had to shut us down, which was expected. Three, it's my job uh, to daddy things. Y'all, I know this, but there was a lot more on the line when the police came to the house. See, here's another secret. Um, Airbnbs aren't allowed. 
to host parties. Seriously, they hate parties. They have like a whole thread about how they hate parties and how to like like avoid people who do that. It's not a very good threat. <laughs> the only reason everything ended up fine that night is because I was able to talk to the cops in my whitest voice possible. Am I fine? I mean like they didn't snitch on us to the owners, which I thought was really dope. Like the police didn't snitch, that's cool. Because if they did, the owners could shut down the whole Airbnb and make us homeless. So maybe not do that. It's my job to make sure stuff doesn't get out of hand. I need to be around to manage because it's my party in my name. So the first person that's going to jail is me. And this is especially imperative if we fail points one and two. I can talk to the cops and avoid us becoming homeless. Because again, this is very legal. But we're gonna do it anyway so <laughs> oh god so we set our ground rules we're good to go and we send the mass invite text it is on so party time finally rolls around and i'm glad to spend this time with all my friends i'm excited for the night to come if it was anything as big as last time this is going to be an incredible experience so we all hear a knock on the door and i'm hyped this will start it all so i go to the door turn the knob and then I wake up in my room. Ah, uh, I don't exactly remember the day zero party, <laughs> which which means that I blacked out. You could tell me I wasn't there, and I'd like half believe you. And this was wild because I had never ever blacked out in my life, and I drink a lot, I not a lot. Like I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic. All I can really remember is that I had a great night. I was pretty happy, uh, which is rare for me hungover or sober. For matter of fact so i walk out of my room like pretty giddy uh to check on the house damage i mean we just had 50 drunk artists running through an anaheim residential statistically it's supposed to look like madagascar in here so i turn the corner into the house hallway walk out into the kitchen and it's clean like sparkling clean like crystal light like the maids came through you don't expect this after a party which should have been my first sign Cause you shouldn't expect this after a party. Like, come on, think about it. If you had a bunch of drunk people through the crib last night and the house is clean, that's the opposite of what a party is. You wouldn't clean the house unless you were trying to hide something. But I'm really oblivious to this glaring bad omen. Just kind of excuse it. So I pull out my phone uh, and check social media to see how everyone's doing and to see how many embarrassing pictures of me are circling in the group chat. I unlock my screen and I have a flurry of notifications, but one really distinct one at the top. One that definitely left me shook. A Discord message from my friend Ivan that read, sorry about the cops coming. What? What is this dude talking about? That night went flawlessly, I think. And then I kind of make the connection. The kitchen's clean. People don't clean the kitchen unless they're trying to hide evidence. So something happened last night that I don't remember. Somehow, something else failed and the cops came. And if I don't remember, how did I handle it? How did I talk to the cops? Is there a chance we're gonna get kicked out where the owner's contacted? I have no idea what's going on. Wait, hold up. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know what happened at the party. How am I gonna explain what happened at the party if I don't remember? Okay, um... You know what? You know what? Um, undo. Undo video. Never mind on entire video. Unupload. Uh, Told you. What's this? It's a VHS tape, obviously. No, I know what a VHS tape is. I mean, like, what is this? Well, I had a feeling you wouldn't remember the Day Zero party, so I went out and recorded testimonies about what happened from people who were there. So the murder bag was for VHS tapes, not bodies. I, I feel way better now. Well, it is a multi-purpose bag. A lot less better. Yo, can we just play this, please? We gotta just figure out which of these three rules we messed up. All right, all right, go ahead. So I get there and there's about seven people. The night was young, it was fresh. Everyone was happy and excited. I come out the bathroom. I just took the biggest piss of my life because I've been drinking all day. Kurt comes out the kitchen, kind of still kind of drunk. Kurt had already started to drink. In fact, he had already been drinking some <clears throat> juice for an hour. So I told him to chill with the drinking cause he was gonna drink a lot anyway. He specifically grabs a beer and tells me this is his last one. And we're like, cool, there's someone here. We get to the door to see who it is. Who is it? Is it Domix? Is it 
Is it like Errol's story? Is it, is it Odd Ones Out? I don't know, who could it be? Guess who it is? Who the f is this guy? We get through the door and the first thing uh, that's placed in my hand, of course, is a shot of juice. Uh, my favorite, it's Kurt, it's frugal aesthetic and we're, we're having a good time. It was just him for like maybe an hour and a half. And we're like, did he, is he the only one that got the invite? When we added everyone on Discord, is his at everyone? 10 minutes later, we're all taking shots. Seven people in the house. This is tame. This is fun. It's a good night. I used the bathroom again. I have a small bladder that day. I don't know what was going on. And over the span of maybe 30 minutes to an hour, people start trickling in. So I don't really go to parties because I don't drink a lot. <laughs> There were maybe 10 or so people there. Most of them were at, at the table already drinking, like Kurt, Ivan, and a bunch of other people. So after all that work, the party was a dud? At least we didn't fail rule one. Well, you might be surprised. Also, Domix was there? So I went to the living room to set up Smash because I wanted to play some people. I was spectating Smash for a bit, you know, record a story for Instagram. And I come out the bathroom. All of a sudden, the next thing I know, there's like 20 people in the living room playing Smash. 40 fucking people in the house. Everyone just decided to come in all at once. It was like the reverse Thanos snap, but with animator YouTubers. I mean, there's people pouring out the window. You, know, you turn the faucet on, there's like people coming out of there too. I'm like, okay, here we go. Go. The night begins. So we failed rule one. Oh, absolutely. It was awful. Fantastic. Okay. All right, so when we first got there, everyone was already lit as fuck. I go around trying to mingle, and I just keep hearing Kurt being super loud and friendly. A little extra friendly. You, Kurt, were right in front of everybody with a big ass smile like, Yo, you made it! And you gave me this big ass hug. He just hugged me from behind out of nowhere. Immediately grabbed by Kurt Ritchie in this case. And he gave me a bear hug. Kurt is some college athlete, so being hugged by him felt like I have been fallen prey to a boa constrictor. Usually people at least treat me to dinner before they choke me. <laughs> uh and then he said he was really happy to see me there. Which is weird because he hates me. At this point, I'm like, oh, he's faded. Thank God he's a friendly drunk. So it's not just some six foot guy going ballistic on everyone. To be honest, I was just surprised Kurt was black. Thanks, Billy. Yeah, baby, can we scrub to the parts where we find out why we got in trouble, please? What, you don't want to see what else you did? No, I definitely don't. Like, there's this one part where you grab a bottle and- I said I don't! Let's just find where things started going wrong, please. All right, fine. Let me see if I can find something. Maybe here. So, the night goes on, everyone's f***ing ah. taking shots, everyone's having the best time of their life because no one has ever partied before, apparently. This is everyone's first time having fun. I went to the kitchen and Emily and Errol were there. I remember I didn't really drink much because... Next thing I know, we're all taking shots of Johnny Walker Black Label. Oh, okay, Kurt, I'm sorry. You don't take shots of Johnny Walker Black Label, it's a fine scotch, you sip it. All the booze you had there tasted disgusting. Everyone hated it, they're like, this is bad, I'm like, wow. You guys deserve to black out tonight. You know, it took me all my strength not to just like vomit right there on the table. Emily was going nuts as usual. She was begging for shots, so I gave her a shot of water. She spit it out in a flat second, looked at me and asked, Do you think I'm a dumb bitch? Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure that's not it. I don't think the cops came because of the bad drinks. Yeah, if the cops got called because you gave people subpar stuff, you'd be in jail for this channel a long time ago. <sighs> Such a comedian. <laughs> Can we just play the thing, please? All right. Um, let me try this. And there was Ivan with his hair looking like a lion's mane. I don't know how to ad-lib this, Kurt, because I barely remember the night. And yelling at everyone trying to convince them he wasn't drunk. Getting to the bathroom in itself was such a large effort and I had to lean against the sink to pee into the toilet. No, I'm not drunk. I took a picture with all the Asians in the house. Why are you saying I'm drunk? But because of my uh, inebriation, I could not tell who was who and I tagged the wrong people in my photo. I'm not. I see Ivan in a corner. I'm pretty sure because the wall is holding him up at this point. I just remember leaning against the wall a lot and telling people I was talking to that, hey, can I lean on this wall for a sec? And I'm like, yo, what up? Uh, he doesn't really reply, he's kind of like, uh... I almost felt bad because he was in such a sorry ass state. I passed Ivan again, who's still in that corner. You know what? I don't think he left that corner the whole night. 
I could not walk properly. Okay, all we got from that is that Ivan might be an alcoholic. Yeah. Can we get to the part where things go bad, please? Okay, okay, I'm looking. How about... Here. What happens if you put a bunch of introverted animators together at the house party? Your usual shenanigans, playing Smash Bros, making out with people. People were kissing each other quite a lot. I've seen a few people that are just going around trying to kiss as many people as possible. And we saw someone else, who not named names, that was sitting on someone else's lap, not naming names, named Megan out with someone else. <laughs> so it was, was like, oh, lots, lots going on there. And it was concerning when I became the person that someone kissed as a checkoff list. <laughs> and then, I don't know why, but I saw someone else on the floor with some other people and they're like, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> what were they doing? I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I was just trying to go to the bathroom. Saw another person get lifted by their damn legs onto a table, like, like, bunts, nts, nts. That's a sexy song. Um, it works. It works. Anyway, it was sexy, and I was like, what is happening at this party right now? Please don't tell me that's why the cops came. I'm pretty sure that's not the reason. Okay, good, because if it was, this would be a whole different video. Here, I think we're getting closer. Let's try... Baby, are you guessing? Didn't you make this tape? I am, and I did. Here. I remember someone screaming at me across the lawn, and I was like, who the hell is that? And then... Who was it, actually? I was pretty much immediately grabbed and used as a crutch by my very, extremely drunk friend. And with no remorse whatsoever, I grabbed someone else and was like, Hey, look! Friends! Friendship! Here, you take them! And then I dipped to go get a drink. I'm not sorry, Elle. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it if I could. Do I have... Oh, burrito. It was burrito. Being invited to one of Kurt's parties will always be a blessing. But being invited to all four of them, it's kind of it's bit much, but... There was this one girl at the party I was talking with. It was basically went like this. <laughs> oh wow, we kind of have the same shirt on. That is so funny to me. Want to take them off so we can try on each other's shirts in front of all these people that could turn their heads at any time and see us shirtless? What a great idea. <laughs> so for like a good 20 seconds, it was just a straight up ha! shot. Just full on ha! so much n But lucky for us, no one really knew what was going on. Until now, in this video that I'm in, that I chose to be in to tell this story. Okay, let's just skip all the way past this. I feel like the tape covered most of the stuff at this point. How would you know if the tape covered most of the stuff? You didn't make it and don't remember the party. And you did make it and don't remember the tape, so I feel like we both got some equal ground here. Touché. Here. But you know, we're all talking, having a great time, drinking way too much. It was just really cool to see like so many like familiar faces just hanging out in one area and everyone was at different levels of um, intoxication. Fun, fantastic, thank you Kurt, I appreciate all the juice, um, sorry mom and dad. Anyway, we went home and it was fun! <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. 10 out of 10. We'll do again. I hope everybody here can leave the party with nothing but good memories. Well, at least some memories. <laughs> All I can say is I had a great time. I can't wait to do it again next year. Same time next year? Baby, this feels like the end of it. Well, that's because it is. There's no mention of the cops. So we just learned we failed rule one and that maybe Ivan should go to some AA meetings. I'm not sure if you're going to find stuff about the- Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind that back real quick. So I decided to go to the backyard to get some air. Did Don just say you went outside? And there's rule two. Okay, um, where was I during this? I definitely would have stopped that. All right, I must have not been around or something. Ooh, I remember now. You might change your tone in a second. And Kurt drags me outside to shoot some hoops with no light at 11 p.m. What? How was, why was I outside? I knew better. Why was I outside? What? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, then I was definitely 100% out of it. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh God, how do I handle the cops? How do I handle the cops? Uh, I think I know. Oh, is this more bad news? Well, it depends on how you would define bad news. Then that was the last time I saw Kurt. He disappeared. 
That is literally how I define bad news. We're overcrowded, too much alcohol, everyone went outside, including me at some point, and I'm gone! How am I supposed to- we, We've broken all every rule! Okay, we're- The tape's done! The tape- we're- Baby, where's the rest? It's not finished. Why? Well, cutting all that stuff took a long time, so I did, like, a little over half. Half? And you ended it here, of all places. Okay, uh, how much longer can you do the rest? Um, you're gonna have to give me, like, a week to finish the rest. <sighs> Alright, I guess this is a two-parter. I guess we'll be back next week, uh, to figure out where I was when the cops came, and then you'll find out what happened to us afterward. And spoilers, it wasn't good. <laughs> We're homeless? Who knows? You're gonna have to wait a week and find out. <sighs> Why? Why I do this? Oh, what's up, y'all? You are watching this. You are the GOAT. Thank you so much, seriously. So if you enjoyed that video, why not consider subscribing to the channel? It's all this, me doing bad things. That's just the whole channel. So yeah, you should check that out. This was my manifesto. And shout out to every YouTuber who gave me lines for this. Seriously, I know it was probably a lot. Uh, you guys are amazing. And you should check out all their channels. They're all listed below. Also, come kick it with me on my Discord. I'm going to talk about it the video with everyone. Uh, in chat. It's fun. It's called Life Skin Hours. We talk about uh, our feelings a lot, so it's a really good time. Oh, and um, a little secret thing. See at the bottom of the description, there's this thing, a secret link. It's not It's not live yet, but since you made it to this video, keep this on the DL. I'm making a Patreon, and it's gonna have a lot of fun stuff, um, including the full testimonials with my commentary uh, underneath them, so that's coming pretty soon on the Patreon. But we're not 100% launched yet, but I was figured it might as well be if y'all want to get a head start, uh, check it out. You don't have to yet, but it'll be cool. I'll be doing a little giveaway between all the patrons who are our patron before the official launch, before it's like real, before this is real. So don't tell anybody. It's only for y'all loyal people who are still here. Y'all are goats. <laughs> and trust me, it'll be, I think it'll be pretty worth it. But seriously, thank you guys, honestly, for watching. And um, see you guys next time. It's been a ride. Peace. <laughs>